tripped up memory lane. With Get Your Motor Running Down Memory Lane, <laughs> Carolina Vieira. Bubbly, charming, petite, intriguing. These are words that describe a stalwart friend of mine. Meet the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> this was a 1972 bidon that originally was my grandpa's. Then it was my uncle. <coughs> then it was transformed into the bubble. And by my car, by my dad, for his company car. For, he had the owner soap factory. Then sometime after that, my brothers, and then finally mine. I spent a few great years with this car before moving on. This was just the start to many great memories on wheels. The year was 2000. The bubble was recently retired in Brazil, and I was arriving here in America with several college friends to start the international program at Disney World. I thought we had the transportation to and from work and anywhere in, in property. We decided that we wanted to see more. What else was out there to see? We were getting cabin fever. So my friend Christina and I decided to buy a car. After looking a long time for the right one, we finally settled for a car that would soon be known between our friends as Veruca. She was a gray, not great, 89 Chevy Corsica. Oh. <laughs> Only $1,000. Since we co-owned the car, it would be almost affordable. After all, we were in a strict <coughs> minimum wage cast member diet. And did I mention no AC? <laughs> Steering was a bit stiff, and the ceiling cloth was always hanging down our head, so it had to be constantly pinned up. <laughs> Despite all this, Veruca became a family member very soon. She took us out at night, we went to the beach with her, we even went to Key West and New Orleans. However, one day, we both realized, while trying to do a 90 degree curve, <laughs> that the thing wouldn't steer. <laughs> I frantically explained to, explained to my friend, Chris, help me out here, I cannot turn, oh. help me. She was like, okay. <laughs> so at that exact moment, we both realized, by looking at each other in the eye, that when we bought the car, the lady that sold it to us told us to keep constantly filling with power steering liquid, or it would oh. increase the leak, and it would get stuck, and it would be very expensive to fix it. Oh. <laughs> the months passed, and my friend Christina's contract had ended, and she went back home, leaving me with the unenviable task to sell Veruca. <laughs> I wasn't in a hurry, I had a lot of time left. Besides, the car barely turned. <laughs> oh. Even after our <coughs> near death experience, we still didn't feel power steering fluid as often as we should. <laughs> she didn't get much use after all. So, Fast forward to a month later, a manager was moving at work and he needed to sell his car very fast. It was a Ford Temple, 93, and he wanted just $400 for it. Did I mention it had AC? <laughs> Done deal. Done deal. The things you 
take for granted, like AC. You cannot live without it in Florida. So, seduced by the idea of getting to work without having the makeup melt off my face, and instead arriving home, feeling fresh, uh, arriving work, feeling fresh, I bought the car, and I was delighted by the amazing shape of the maroon interiors of the light gray Ford Tempo 93. And of course, the AC. I was thrilled. My first trip out of the car was to the grocery store. Just a mile drive, not even. So I was in the middle of the highway when all of a sudden the car starts smoking like a Yellowstone geyser. <laughs> I was scared. I pulled over to the nearest 7-Eleven. I found a friend there who said, your car overheated. Really? <laughs> so, I decided that I should take uh, to a professional to have it checked. So after taking the car to Mr. Kewing's shop at OBT, he was a Chinese mechanic. His wife and secretary, Juanita, told me it would be about $400 to fix it and have it running smoothly. So in the, within a few days I came back and I was so glad and relieved and I left with the car after paying for Mr. Kewing's services. So when a few blocks later, all of a sudden, the car wouldn't start at the green light. So I tried D1, D2, reverse, finally, reverse, oh the only God. gear the car will run in. Oh. Just my luck. <laughs> so there I was, back to Mr. Wing's shop, on the reverse, in reverse, through the medium, on OBT at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh. This is a true story. <laughs> well, it turned out that Mr. Ford Temple didn't want to be driven. It was never fixed all the way, and I've given up on her. After all, I hadn't even had a chance to name the hunk of junk. <laughs> so there I was with Veruca, with the tin can, parked by my apartment, and I wasn't, uh, I wasn't able to drive either one of them. So I ended up selling two for one for its parts. <laughs> so after motoring up and down memory lane while writing this speech, I realized I learned a lot about myself. I learned that I could go anywhere if I wanted 